you apply a Photoshop brush, basically that's it. It's actually applied. So if you if you just go and select a brush here, I'm just going to select one of these brushes. I can just apply the brush. I'm just going to just apply that, and then basically that's it. You can't change the brushes, so they're just set. Well, you can actually use the smart object feature that's in CS5, etc. And I'm just going to quickly get rid of that now. And I'm going to apply it, create a new layer. New layer. OK. And I'm going to select a different brush. This, these brushes are from graphicextras.com. Find them there. So I click, select one of those. And I'm just going to apply the brush to that layer. And it's in black, so I'm just going to apply the brush. Now you can go to the layer smart objects convert to smart object now I'm just going to select that and now you can actually see the brush as a smart object now I'm just going to create a couple more of these I'm just going to quickly do duplicate duplicate layer duplicate layer and I can move them around so I'm just so these brush strokes just select that one so there you are now Again, of course, I could just flatten the image, and again, they're just basically frozen as is. But if you suddenly, what suddenly think, I don't really want that kind of star brush. I want a different star brush. Well, you can actually just click on the little icon here. There's a little icon on the, in the layers palette, and I'm just going to do that. Double click. We'll come up with a little uh, dialogue, and I'm into that. Right now, quick, easy way. I'm setting this otherwise. I'm just going to quickly show you is just use your razor brush. So I'm just going to select a just quickly clip, get rid of that. Don't want that star brush, get rid of him. So now just going to go to the star brush again. I'm going to select a different star brush. And uh, where's one there? Select that. And I could, of course, change the color as well. I don't even have to go with black, of course. I could just maybe. And I could apply two. So now that's my star brush now. Now it's a PSP file. So to exit out of this, just close it. it says yes. It doesn't actually save the PSP file. It's just an internal sort of format. Now when you go back to the original document, you've now got all the stars that you star brushes you had are now suddenly changed into this new design. And of course you can go back and just double click on that and just can do that. So I just change that again, or I could resize that, or change the color again. I can apply different effects and that sort of thing. Uh, actually, I'll just quickly show you again. Erase. So I'll just erase that, and I'm just going to go and apply another brush. And this brush there. Maybe this time with a, a shadow. So I'm just going to resize that slightly because it's defined by the. So, yeah, and I'm just going to do that. Close. Yes. And again, you've got the brush. Now, what would be nice in Photoshop would be a sort of floater or a smart object library, but uh, there is no f sort of option to save these different designs in a sort of nice palette you could access and just drag from uh, things saying uh, some applications have got that sort of feature but uh, Photoshop for some weird reason has no sort of easy accessible uh, library so uh, it would be really nice but let's say you can move those around you can change those and again at any point you can change the uh, smart object uh, to another uh, design.